Hello. Hi. It's me, Spooky Doctor Teacher, with another episode of Spooky Everything Now. And, uh, you guessed it, we got a spooky one tonight. We're, uh, we're gonna be traveling along with Aristotle, but this won't be a regular ride stream. He's gonna be driving a spooky carriage. Ooh. Hello, Jimmy Jam 5. And hello, everyone in the chat. Uh, we heard a little bit of Super Pizza's uh, Halloween costumes. Does anyone else have any uh, fun Halloween costumes they're planning or have done this past Halloween weekend? It's kind of interesting having Halloween in the middle of the week, huh? Kind of messes things up. Uh, good workout, buddy. Oh my god, is he driving a hearse? Um, there could be a coffin in the back. Who knows? Um, is he driving the dead? Possibly. I can't predict the future even though I know it. Any uh any fun costume ideas? I was thinking about going uh or uh dressing up as a wadded up piece of gum. Uh Super Pizza says I'm just gonna get blasted on green alcohol on Thursday night. That sounds fun. You gonna leave some candy out for the kids? You gonna do that thing where you dress up as like a scarecrow and sit on your porch and when they like come up you scare them and scar them for life? Good workout, buddy. Har, har, har. Well, that's good. Are we talking Everclear? Is Everclear a grain alcohol? Uh, Super says, I don't care about kids enough to scare them. Now that's spooky. Not caring about children. Hmm. Anyway, this is everything now. The show that cracks open your skull and fills it with knowledge. And, uh, let's see what happens tonight with our good friend Aristotle. Jimmy Jam says er Everclear is a band from the 90s. Good job. Father of mine, where have you been? You guys know that song? I think that's an Everclear song. Okay, anyway, uh, I'm going to go eat some... Um, Skeleton soup, bone soup. Uh, talking about bands from the 90s, I saw Soul Coffin. Soul Coffin this weekend? Okay. On that note, goodbye. Toadies is Possum Kingdom, and also Tyler. The Possum Kingdom's like a. I will treat you well, my sweet angel. So help me, Jesus. That's Toadies. Um, hey guys. Um, so so confident. Wow, that's cool. High heels only. Sorry to scare you. You scared me. Um, pull the props. I, I mean. Props to props to you too. Thanks for watching, Jim Jam. Uh, yeah, I'm Aristotle Ozarski. I'm the show's tattoo artist. Normally, I'm driving Lyft uh, just to like maintain upkeep for my tattoo shop. I ink, therefore I am. But uh, my license is temporarily uh, suspended. I got in trouble. Yeah. Okay. I got in trouble for vaping while driving. So you know, I gotta I gotta work in the gig economy somehow. Uh, hello, Aristotle. Did you invent cilantro? Just wondering. No, and I'm one of those people who tastes like soap too. So, sorry. But yeah, I have to, I have to do this horse and carriage because it's kind of like Lyft, but I don't need a car. Um, the horses are kind of mean to me, but 
or something. And I got Teddy here. We're, uh, I don't know why they gave me a night shift, but it's, we're just getting started. Hopefully it's going to be fine. No, no going creepy. Um, vaping while driving my car. I was vaping while driving my car. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I know. It's a little tiresome already. Hmm. But, uh, I was, I don't know. I am switch back to cigarettes. I can't help it. Do you think the horses know they're slaves? I don't know about that. Well, maybe that's why they're angry. Oh, man. Should I feed them, like, sugar cubes or something like that? Um. Well, I haven't seen anyone out here yet, just so far, on the in, in Wood Spooky. Uh, that's what it's called. Wood Spooky. Um. Oh. Hold on. All right. First passenger. Okay. We got our first passenger. Let's, uh, let's slow down. Let's stop. <laughs> All right, we got this. We're probably normal. Oh gosh! Hey, thank oh. you, thank oh. you so much for coming. Before. Yeah, no, no problem. Welcome oh, aboard. Oh, I really appreciate it. Really. Yeah. Hey, um, where am I taking you? Huh? Oh, to the Sears in town, if you wouldn't mind. The Sears? Yeah. All right. Uh, yeah. All right. I'm gonna just uh, mush. Sorry. So what are you getting at Sears? Mm -hmm. Sorry, what are you getting at Sears? You get a new microwave and oh. go home. Oh, okay. Do you need to write back or is it okay? I mean, I got a... Well, maybe if you wouldn't want to make it fun of Sears, it'd be helpful for me. I, uh, mm -hmm. I guess I would just plan on going to another lift, yeah. Yeah, you could, yeah. Uh, we'll see. Um, for the first time uh, doing a horse carriage uh, yeah. shift, yeah. It's kind of it's kind of creepy at night, honestly. It's almost a full moon. Oh, wow, well, yeah, full moon. I can leave up with some things. Like, like what? What? Oh, I mean, I'll for instance, I'm a wolf man. So for me, if there's a full moon, I can turn into a ravenous uh, wolf man crazy monster and eat a bunch of people. Did you... Did, did, you, you, did you just say that you, you, you're, you're, a, you're a wolf man? Yeah, I'm a wolf man. Uh, okay. Um, guys. Guys, pick up a wolf man. My first driver, my first passenger, I pick up a wolf man. Um, do you know, can you let me know if you're going to turn? I, I don't, do you? Yeah, okay, I'll let you know. I wouldn't, I wouldn't anticipate turning into a wolf man. Cause, um, it looks pretty full. I, I don't, I don't know. Uh, it might be pretty full. I've got it pretty under control these days. So I'm not so too concerned about it. Oh man, are you gonna turn into Wolfman Jack? The DJ? Yeah. That'd be cool. Oh, okay. I would love if I was cursed with a lifelong thing where when the full moon comes out or I get very schemed off, I turn into a renowned DJ that just plays some like nice songs. That's pretty cool. He was and in... instead I become a murderous dog monster. Oh god. What well, um you don't have any sense of like of like conscience when you're a wolf man? You're no, I completely lose my sense of self and become a different person that just isn't quite a person but more of a dog monster as I said and he just sort of eats people. Okay, um, I hope you're not offended by this but I don't think I'm comfortable really driving you around much more. Is it okay if I just uh... Or just drop you off right here, maybe? You got another... Oh, wow, that's list. really rude. That's I, really rude. I'm so, uh, you, that's th really there's rude. a chance you're going to kill me. I, I, mean, I don't want to... Just give me a little more credit than that, maybe. I mean, maybe, you know, I wouldn't get into here if I thought I was going to kill you, right? I wouldn't that's just fair. say... I, I feel I like... I wouldn't just yeah. say, hey, you, you know, I'm just some dickhead who's just going out into the world and is going to potentially murder everybody. I got it under control Well, don't, don't you think you should tell people that just in case I'm like off the bat or something? Why didn't I just talk to you That's about it? Why didn't we I'm just sorry. talk about I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Jesus Christ. You sound like the ghost of John Lennon according to Taxman7212. Is, did you change your numbers? Anyway. Yeah, do you like the Beatles? You sound like... You kind of sound like... I've heard that I sound like kind of a mix of a few Beatles, but like not a, quite any of them. Like a hot pot of Beatles? Yeah, just like, not quite one specific one. Okay. Wait, does pissing you off turn you closer into a wolf man? Or yes, it? it does. Oh, okay. All right. Steam. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. Um, let's... real steam there. Let's get on the right foot. My name is Aristotle. All right. Hello, I'm Jack. Jackson. 
Your name is Jack Jackson. Yeah. And he no, it's Wolfman. not Jack Jackson. It's Jackson. Oh, it's Jackson, Jackson Brown. Got it. Pay my customer here. Yeah, sorry, Claire. You're right. Thank you for getting back on board. Yeah, how long have we been doing this? Because you've asked me some very personal questions. I've been doing Lyft for like about a year, and uh, the people I get are really weird, and so I'm just kind of used to talking to, to I'm just used to talking a lot. I, yeah. I, I, w I wish I could just get somebody who just didn't want to talk the whole time. But, but you know, it's part of the job. I kind of. I'm happy to be. I'm happy to be that guy. Oh, okay. So should we just? Okay. Need to get to that series. All right, we're we're halfway there. Do you outgrow your clothes, or is it like a thing where like do the clothes get bigger? Maybe. I'm really clean off the body. I mean, wow. I, I will wake up the next day and feel all the tattered rags around somewhere. I'll turn into the wolf man, but of course by then I'll have lived up the hearts and. Right. And, you know, skin of so many people. Made of elastic. Interesting. Oh, elastic clothes, that might be a good idea. Yeah, so, so you kind of grow up and down. Yeah, exactly. That'd be great. Is it hard to date? Mm -hmm. Is it hard to date? It was at first, but I've really got a good handle on it now. Okay. I've done a lot of Pilates and sort of tried meditation, and I found sort of an even keel that I can sort of breathe through the process. And I don't quite become a wolfman ever anymore. I feel very good about it. But I am a wolfman. N nevertheless, you're a wolfman, yeah. No, I know it about myself. Do you, um, do girls like that you're a wolfman? Do you tell them? There is something sexy about it. That I mean, at first they're a little intimidated, and then they find a little something a little sexy about it. But yeah. I suppose they get disappointed when I tell them. I don't really turn into the wolf man no more, and even if I did, it would only be to immediately kill and eat you, and you wouldn't really know what, uh, what it would be like to see me as the wolf man, because you'd be dead by the time you realized. Listen, you don't have to talk about it if you don't want to, but I'm just curious. When was the last time you turned into a wolf man? And oh, it was yesterday. Okay. It was yesterday, about 9.30 p.m. Did you, did you hurt anybody? Yeah, I probably killed about six, seven people. Okay. Um, you need to know the accurate number? You That's what I was told the next day. I, I told you I don't. Who told you? The, process. the police. My God. The police told you, hey, dude, you killed 17 people. Uh, just be careful next time. Yeah. Or, they just said, they know. Hey, man, just so you know, Wolfman guy did it again. And I went, oh, God, I thought I had him. I thought I had him under control. I didn't do that much breathing. Sounds like a Hulk thing. Sort of. Okay. Um, chat, do you have any questions for Jack, Jack, Wolfman Jackson? I have to answer your question. It's what a $50 dollar fine there. Just a regular old yeah, it's kind of, I guess you have to pay, maybe. That sucks. What are you getting in Sears again? Microwave? Microwave, yeah. Well, we're almost there. Just, uh... Okay, yeah, if you do turn into a wolf, is there like... What should we do? Is there we have a weak point that we can maybe like bring you back to, to humanity? Um, if I do turn into a wolf and you want to kill me, you shoot me with a silver bullet. Okay. But it would be very rude as I die for real life die as me as well as the wolf man. I don't think that's quite right. Yeah, but here's what I really appreciate it if you didn't. I don't have a gun really, so. Um, how does being a wolf man affect your job? What do you do? Well, I work in a barnies. A, uh, clothing store. Clothing store, right, okay. Clothing store. Yeah. So okay. not much. It doesn't affect your job at all. You work during the day. You gotcha. Work, you work, everyone's very polite and civilized. Um, do you ever have to take a flea bath? Do you ever have to take a flea bath? Oh, no, I mean, perhaps if I was in the wolf man, it would be good to do that, but when I turn back into my skin, man, the, human, fleas, yeah. the fleas don't have the fur to be all over. Listen, I'm sorry for being so rude earlier. I was just a little it's nervous. Okay, I understand. It's, it's an upsetting situation to be the wolf man. I spent a lot of time dealing with it. But now I feel pretty fine. I feel pretty good, actually. It's an interesting thing. That's it's good. It's sort of more intuitive, maybe. Huh. I try to take the positives with it. Well. Do you have anything kind of about you that makes it different, makes it really unique? Um. 
let's see, I guess, uh, I don't know, tattoo shop. Well, okay, not really what I meant. It's more of a thing you chose to do. Right, sorry, yeah, things make you unique. Um, or something like you didn't pick about you, just sort of is something oh, about your life. Oh, I'm a twin. Wow, don't you think that's interesting? It, it, yeah, it is. Is it your twin sort of your wolf pet in a way? A little bit. And it's like, I didn't do that. Why yeah. come I share the burden of such a response? I get in trouble when he would do shit when we were younger, yeah. Give me an example. What's his name? His name was Ptolemy. Ptolemy. And, uh, Fascinating. He would, he would kick the dog, and then Mom would come in, and he would say, Aristotle would do it. He would kick the dog, I know. And then uh, she would be like, uh, like no, no, more, no more Dreamcast for a week. Oh, God. But he gets to play Dreamcast, because you know, she couldn't really tell the difference between us. So sometimes she he'd pretend to be me and do bad stuff. That's awful. I mean, I can think of such similar situations. Recently, I was at a bank and the woman was being very rude behind the counter. I was just trying to take a look. I was trying to move some stuff from my checking into my savings. Yeah. Account. Doing a little well financially right sure, now. Sure, sure. And she was just giving me so much stress and headache about it. And I just turned into the Wolfman, uh, ripped to head, her upper half off the lower half, threw her upper half at the bank manager. Proceeded to eat every single person's heart in the room, and then just sort of knocked about, breaking into several neighboring buildings, ripping out the hearts and spines of many people sort of in those buildings, running around town all through the night, feeding on the souls and minds of our town and community, waking up sort of in a pool of other people's blood and my own filth, and then just sort of getting up, resuming my job at Abani's as if none of that really happened. And when, when did that happen? It was just about three days ago. Okay. Uh, well, we're uh, we're approaching the Sears soon. Um, let's see, who else is trying to... Uh, I once dated a wolf woman, but it turned out she wasn't a wolf woman, just Italian. Is that offensive? Not to me, but maybe to Italian. I mean, well, maybe the implication that it should be offensive to Italians is offensive to me. Yeah, that's a good point, yeah. I'm not sure. I tend to stay away from the kind of like stuff that sort of generalize around a certain group because uh -huh. I just think it's dicey and you know really never accurate so it's like I don't know okay anyway Italians do uh, I guess they do they have a lot of hair yes they do and then it's Professor Lupin from the Harry Potter series I think an accurate portrayal of a wolfman I haven't seen the films oh okay I have not seen the films just don't have the time are any portrayal? Have you seen any portrayals of Wolfmen that are accurate or disaccurate? Um, the one who plays basketball. Do you know that one? I think it's Dean Wolf. Oh, right. Yeah. I just like basketball, so I guess oh. that one spoke to me. Okay. Um, was um, Robin Williams a Wolfman? Yes. Cool. Good observation. Good. And then last one. Can werewolves cool. eat flaming hot Cheetos or does it give them indigestion? Uh, no, we can eat it. I mean, it gives me indigestion. I got some butt to eat it. Oh, okay, good. But I just, I don't take good care. I don't eat at the right times of day. And so, unless I'm, like, you know, I just, my digestion's all over the place. Well, we're cooking the sears over here. I think you can see it kind of through the brush. I'm going to stop here. Right. Um... Is there anything? Oh. I am a bit worried. Me too, motion design. Um, is there anything I should know that pisses you off? Just so, like, if I accidentally upset you, you know, I don't want to... Oh, no, I mean... No. Okay, cool. Great. Um, well, good luck with your microwave. Yeah, thanks, sir. Yeah, no problem. Yeah, sure. Um, what's your name again? Told me. Aristotle. Aristotle, your brother's told me. Yeah. Take care, man. Yeah, you got it. Yeah? May I climb aboard? Oh! Hi! Uh, yeah, sure. Um... Oh, thank you, sir. Uh, yeah, sure, no problem. Oh, I um, have traveled long and far, and it's so nice to see a carriage with four wheels and a kind face. Uh, I mean, we're talking about Teddy, I'm sure. Oh, and yours as well, sir. Oh, oh, thank you. Of course. Um... Is, is... Where are you going? I'm driving everyone around, so where do you want to go? Nobody has asked me that question before. Oh, well, it's kind of my job. I mean, uh, um... Well, I, I was told there was an orphanage in town that would take me. Okay, yeah. I, I kinda... So two... The orphanage. The prospect of a new life. 
Okay, yeah, totally. Um, let's go. Yeah! Sorry. I got... I, I, oh, <laughs> you go ahead first. It's fine. What is your name, Pinkster? Uh, I'm Aristotle. Nice you, to meet you. You can call me Stotts. Are you... How old are you? I am seven and a half. Holy shit. Um... But wow. I've been of working age for four years at this point. You've been working since you were three? I had strong bones. Seven and a half, wow. Well, we strong bones until I had the accident. One of my legs is now fake, but, um... Sorry. It's okay. One is better than none. <laughs> I'm just happy to be alive. That's a good way to look at it. Yeah, what do you... How, what do you work on? Like, what, do you, what do you do for jobs? Machinery. Good lord. Railroads, anywhere that'll take me. You've been doing that since you were three and a half years old? The right old age. Are you okay? I'm, I'm great. I'm alive. I've made two new friends. Good I'm course. on my way to a better life. Yeah. Maybe a family will pick me this time. Oh, oh well, how, how many times have you been, like, turned down? Enough. But, you know, Fair. it's just an opportunity to meet more folks. Yeah. Do you know why you've been turned down in the past? I've never, I've never rightfully asked. I, I, I think you have like a right to know if it's like. I mean, listen, you're gonna be loved for for you. You're, you seem like a good kid, but like, you. you've been turned down a lot of times. It's not. Do you think that's not more damaging to your psyche to learn why people do not love you? Yeah, it's a. I guess it's a great point, because you should just kind of live your truth. I guess. Is it making any sense to you? It makes perfect sense. Okay, great. Um, well, what do you want to do? I mean, do you, I don't know if you want to work in machinery your whole life. Jeez, you're, you're seven years old. Yeah. And I have my whole life ahead of me. Yeah, there's so much living I mean, you can do. You can, like, go to the beach. You could, you could... It's the beautiful year of 1890. So I have, I have so much ahead of me. I'll see the turn of the century. With one good leg and one good heart. Uh huh. What year did you say it was again? 1890. I fell into a hole and blacked out for a long while and woke up upon this shore, and here I am. Surely that means nothing. Um. Would you. How would. Hypothetical. Do you know what that word means? Yes. Ah, oh, smart kid. Uh, what if I told you. That you, you, it's it's 2019. It's the. <laughs> That's not a real year. I, that would mean I'm dead. Which surely I'm not. Yeah, it it would, huh? Uh, yeah, it would. Can you cover yours for a quick second? Of course. Yes, we're either dealing with a ghost here, or, um, or some someone who's like kind of frozen in, in the ground and then woke up a thousand years later. Um, is there a way? I'm not gonna call it Ghostbusters. They don't answer anymore. Should, what should we? How can we determine if they're a ghost or not? I'm trying to think of like ways that we can tell. I'm like 90% sure you got Doctor Who in your carriage. You think? You think they're a doctor? Ah, uh, bad service. Yeah, exactly. Also a bad thing. Um, okay. Ask some questions only a ghost would know. That's a good, that's a good idea. Um, the trees are beautiful here! Yeah, they sure are, kid! I've seen them from the back. I can't do it. They're dead. Okay. Hey, why don't you, uh, why don't you go ahead and uncover your ears? Hello? Uncover your ears, please? Oh, sorry. No, it's okay. Don't worry about it. Uh, hey, could you count down from nine backwards? Yes. Go ahead. Smart. You know I was what, always told. You know what hypothetical is, you know, uh, what is kind of form? I know, it's kind of confusing prompts. Uh, well, what do you, do, do you, so you don't have family, right? You're an orphan. 
Um, I'm an orphan. But that just means more books to love. I'm concerned about you, kid. I don't know. I just really want to like make sure you have a have a good life. My life is great. I have a pretty good demeanor. Uh, I'm on my way to the promise of new and uh, leaving the old behind, and maybe I'll learn a trade this year. Maybe I will become an apprentice. That'd be that'd be great. What do you? Uh, I would love to smith. You want to, okay, just like what? Like making like swords or metals and. I would love to help build ships to explore the new world. Where do you think you are right now? I don't know. Do you know what Do you know what America is? What is that? Okay, got it. Uh, do you? How about foggy old London town? Oh yes, I am a small Dutch boy, but I have heard of London. Well, what if What if I told you there's a whole new country where you can do whatever you wanted to? And really? Yeah, and then you get really good at it, and you're paid a lot, and people work for you. Even a boy like me who has no family in one leg keeps falling into tragic circumstances, but always comes out with a sunny disposition. Yeah, yeah. What? Uh, uh huh. What's garbage? What? That sounds great. Yeah, it. I mean, it can. It can be. I know you can. It's not perfect, but I mean, like. Well, sh shoot, kid. I don't know. I. I'm, listen, it is the year 2019. I, I know it sounds fake and made up, but you're, I think you might have fallen into a hole, got knocked out for about a thousand or so years, and have woken up in the future. So everyone you might have known, even if you weren't friends or family with them, they might be dead. What? Or I think you're dead. I don't know. I can't really tell at this point. How do I know? I, I'm trying to figure that out as well. No one's really had a good idea for how to figure out if you're a ghost or not. Can you, like, stick your hand through yourself? Do ghosts have a pulse? That's a great point. Check your... No, I can touch face. Okay, yeah, so that's good. Did you feel that? Yeah, okay, I feel that, yeah. Uh, it's cold, but I feel that. Oh. I do have poor circulation. Okay, so you're just kind of like a chilly... I mean, you have been in a ditch for the past thousand years. I have years. so much limb and not enough heart to push the blood to the fingers. <laughs> uh, um, do you have, can you check your pulse? What? I don't... You don't... I don't feel anything. Okay. Um, listen, this is going to be a weird experiment, but if you... Just trust me, we're gonna get, get to the bottom of this. All I know is I was walking and it got dark and here I am. Okay. How do... How do I know what happened to me? Uh, uh, you know what? That's... What's your name again? Dieter. Dieter. Hi, Dieter. I'm Aristotle. Um... I think you should ask Teddy Thurgood. Okay. Um, listen. Cover yours one more time. Okay. Teddy, shoot ghost. Wow, great idea, Colin Blake. Thank you. Great. I worked out real well. Uh, what do we do with this kid? I feel bad. No? Yeah, that's what I thought. Shit. I mean, there, there's, a, there's gonna be a lot of culture shock. We can't go into 2019. Uh, okay, that's a good sign. That something is scary. Your friend got scared. Yeah, he's kind of freaked out right now, I gotta admit. Um, okay. Uh, I have a question. Sure. Who is your uncontested ruler of this land? Uh... Surely, surely not a group of people elected uh, one person. They just declare themselves king of God. You think. You would really think. Uh, no, we, we actually, um, we have a bunch of people. Do you have a queen? Not yet. No, we had a lot of people just kind of say, like, I think this person should be the leader. And then these people say, I think this person should be the leader. And then they kind of, like, 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 say, they count how many people say that. Okay, moving on. I okay. get that. Cool. All right. How do you contact your loved ones? Uh. Surely it's by Pony Express or letter that never eventually reaches them because you die on the journey, correct? Sure, yeah, hold on one second. Um, I really hope this doesn't freak you out. So here's this. What is that? 
Um, Why is it glowing? It's like a computer. Do you have kind fire of? inside? Uh, kind of. It's like it's like a, it's like a fire square. I don't um, like it. I'm sorry. Don't worry about it. It's okay. There is a scary photo of yourself on the background. Yeah. I mean, it's my dating profile, but it's anyway. Um, should, do you, I wonder if you have like a relative. No, you can't really tell. You're Dutch, and that's it's too far away. You said it was too many years. I know exactly. I'm wondering if you have like a. What do I do as a ghost? Do I haunt? I uh, I don't know, kid. Um, take phone picture. If nothing shows, he's a ghost. Okay. Okay. So this is a camera. Do you know what cameras are? No. Okay. Wait, sure. You don't know. Uh, it's like a thing that makes a really quick drawing of you uh, as you are. Does it take your soul? No, no. People thought it did, but oh. but it. I don't know. They're saying that it wouldn't. You know. Okay. Okay. Ready? One, two, three. Okay. Did it work? Let's see. Uh, uh, Dieter, I'm uh. Ah, I'm not at the photo. Dieter, you're not the photo. Uh, that's weird. That's pretty weird. <laughs> okay. Um. So. so uh, okay. De- I'm sorry. I think you're a ghost, Dieter. So I died. Who killed me? How did I go? I think you fell into a hole. I fell into a hole. Yeah. Um. Oh, oh I'm sorry, what? buddy. I'm sorry. It's okay. It's okay. Uh, it's okay. How do um, I make a bright future for myself in this country? You don't. I don't think you need one. Am I trapped here? If you're a ghost, um. Yeah, I can talk to you. That's a good question, actually. I don't know who. Maybe we can use magic to save them. For being a ghost, Wait. they died a thousand years ago. Uh. I, I died! No, it's okay. I'm grappling with my own mortality! It's okay. You're a really smart kid, Jesus. Um. It's okay. Uh. Okay. Well. It's gonna be I okay. Was going to Smith. You can probably. No, I don't think you can still Smith. You can watch Smiths and, like, maybe haunt one of them and they'll be friends with you. Cause you're a friendly little ghost. You're kind of like Casper. Do you know Casper? Who is that? He's a he's a friendly ghost. He's like really white though. He's not he's not a human like you. Paler than my uh, Dutch skin that does not see the sun. Like milk white. Oh. It is like it's he's he, he looks. I don't want to say it actually. I'm sorry. Um, ghost, you don't have any cash. You're not gonna get paid for this, right? Well, is there a cemetery or something I can haunt in the area? I guess my life is resigned. No, you can. I want. I want to bring. I'm gonna bring you to the local blacksmith. You can haunt them, okay? Make a friend there. You're gonna be okay, kid. You're gonna, hey, hey. Want some DC? I don't think you can actually. What is that? It's, a, it's a soda. I think it would just fall through. Yeah, you're right. It's still. In the car. I don't want to okay. mess up your beautiful carriage. I'm just gonna listen. Yeah, please. Here. It's over here. Pull you can pull over. Yeah. Listen, oh my god, yeah, you're you're dead now that I look close up. Well the, I'm not alive. The local blacksmith is right over there. Just tell them what happened and they'll take good care of you, I'm sure of it. Will they be as nice to me as you are? They might be a little scared at first. Um I mean I didn't know you were dead until I took a picture of you and nothing showed up. I mean, nothing. It was just me in an an endless void. So you have like a hole where you are, you know? No, it's okay. It's okay. I died in a hole. That was so insensitive. It was the 1800s. That happens. It's. Oh, I'm sorry. I I didn't realize that. I will go hunt, and hopefully, I make companions as nice as you. And I am welcomed in the rafters. Listen. And the stairs. Come find me after. I guess after my, my shift. We can hang out, I, I guess. I, don't, I can't give you food or anything, but I can give you company. I will never eat a stroop waffle again. Oh, I, you can watch me eat a stroop waffle. Dieter, you can watch me eat a stroop waffle! Dieter! This is sadder than scary. Ah. Poor kid. Rest in peace, Dieter. I mean, literally, rest in peace. I hope they're going to be okay. Oh, my God. If you're just joining us, um, I lost my license for a little bit, so I'm, I'm, I'm doing horse uh, and buggy rides right now to pay for, uh, for rent. Uh, I'm Aristotle. I'm the show's tattoo artist. Uh, if you want to donate here, uh, some sort of Latin saying, I'll have to say out loud. Uh, yeah, like, 
350 left before I have to say it, I think. What's the worst that can happen to them? They can't die. They're already dead. They'll be fine. That's what I'm thinking. But they're seven and a half years old, man. They're scared. I might, I might, I'll check on him later. I hope, I might see him later, hopefully. Oh, God. Okay. Oh, guys, I was looking for another passenger. Okay. Also, if you subscribe to the show, you get a tattoo on Teddy. Something. Oh! Alright, there's somebody over there. Alright. Horses, stop! Horses! Stop! Sir? Yes, hello. Oh my god, hi. Ah, uh, yeah, how's it going? Uh, good, good. Wow. Oh, oh okay. Oh, gosh. It's okay. Uh, where am I, uh, where am I taking you? Uh, yeah, there should be a, um, uh, an old sort of spooky tree with a portal in it. Uh, just kind of up the ways. I'm trying to get back to Asgard. I've got a, uh, <laughs> a um, a school reunion, a college reunion that I need to uh, attend, so. Very funny. Uh, I mean, I know it's Halloween time right now, so. Mm, what is Halloween? It's a holiday where you dre dress up. Where are you, you're, you're going to a, a tree portal. Yes, I have to get back to Asgard. I've got a uh, college reunion, and um, uh, I know there's going to be a few people there that are going to want to see me, so. Okay, well, what are you, what, are you, are you Thor or something? Oh. No, I'm not Thor. I'm not Thor. Um, okay. I was, I was roommates with Thor in uh, at Asgard University. Uh, yeah. All right, man. Go Titans. Um, <laughs> Asgard Titans. But yeah, uh, yeah. Thor and I, we shared a dorm freshman year. Uh, so yeah, me and Thor, we go way back. But no, I'm, I'm not Thor. I wish. You know, I wish I was Thor. Sure. What? Uh, what's my name? I'm, um, uh, my name is Sven. Yeah, I'm Sven. Okay. That's, that's pretty normal. Hey, Sven. Hi. Um, what do you, what do you, what do you do? Uh, I work at Lowe's. I'm the god of Lowe's. Well, I'm, a, I'm, an, uh, I'm a regional manager at Lowe's, but, oh, okay. you know. I guess it's tight, yeah. When you graduate from Asgard University, they say, uh, Find, find something that you could be the god of. Um, sure. really, that's kind of like a big motto of it. We, we make gods. That's kind of like their thing. And so um, yeah, I so. like to introduce myself as god of loaves. Hold on, you're... But really my position is more managerial, sort of administrative. Um, huh. You know, I answer to corporate. So technically they are the gods of, of me, so to speak. Are you... Um, are you like... Are you really... <laughs> Bless you. Thank you. Um, what was I saying? Are you really? I bless you is what I'm saying. That's, you okay. are blessed All right. by me, thank Sven, you, God you, of Loaves. Are you really God? I, I, how can you? Here. Well, I'm, I'm as much of a God as Thor is. He, he seems to be worshipped like a God down here. You know, he was a film student. Um, you know, when we were in freshman year, he was always making these super cringy short films. It was really tracks. embarrassing, honestly. He would yeah. have me hold the camera, and it was mainly just kind of flexing, you know? It wasn't... He wanted to be a super... And lo and behold, you know, he really made it work. He really I, found a yeah. career in entertainment. He became um, pretty big, I would say. I like his movies. I like his movies. No, movie. his movies are good, you know? Yeah. It's uh, it's not... It's no hard feelings. You know, he hasn't kept up. You know, once, yeah. he, once he became big-time hotshot movie man, suddenly, uh, you know... Texts are being left on red, but that's uh, you know, yeah. you know, you can't stay close with everyone. Sometimes your college roommate, you know, gets pushed to the wayside. I understand that. Sure, sure. Was he a good roommate, like, or was he kind of a dick? I mean, you know, those were those were days. You know, not neither of us were the best. Were the were the best. It's college. Roommates. It's college. It's college. You know, you're, you're not perfect. Man, yeah. And you're still learning about yourself, your interests, yeah. who you, who I am. Sure. You know, I'm a, I'm a different guy. I'm yeah. a different Sven. You, yeah, we all. You know, grow. if I, if I could, if I looked in the mirror that day and said, you know, one day you're going to be God of a Lowe's, 
one day you're going to work yourself up from God of the hardware department to God of uh, the sort of uh, the entire fleet. Fleet. Sure. I just said no way. That's Me? No way. Yeah. Oh, we so all... I was smoking a lot of weed. Oh, sure. Oh. I was really, I was blitzed. You're... I barely remember it, to be honest. Those days. Yeah, yeah. I was oh, pretty... man, if you, you if you think weed down here is, is good, you should try freaking Asgard Holy weed, shit. man. That shit will explode your conscience. Good Lord. Oh, that's too much. Your conscience will literally explode. Do you know DMT down here? DMT? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I think I know. Uh, what, yeah, yeah, yeah. Is that's that like, like, is that like pussy shit to you? That's kind of like pussy shit, yeah. Okay. Oh. Okay. Oh, wow. Interesting. Uh, cool. Well, I think that's actually the portal right, right there. <laughs> oh, it is? Wow. That is it, yeah. I'm going to probably pop back with it, but... Uh... Cool. Well, I'm going to... Yeah, I'll, I'll pull over to the side here. I'm, I'm just kind of... I kind of wish we could have hung out a little bit more. You yeah, no, there. don't worry about it. It's cool. I pretty much did everything. that I, I covered most of the stuff I wanted to cover. All right, fair, fair, fair. Anyway, yeah, that's right. That's it right there. Wait, on. hold on. Oh, we're off by one cent here. Oh, we're, we haven't... Oh, well, in that case... In that, oh, wait, was that the portal? Is that, that the portal That was just a tree? regular tree now that I'm looking at it. We got a minute. Anyway. Yeah, um, Jesus Christ. I could have sworn that was a portal. Is that how you get back to Asgard? Through portals and trees? Yeah, it's mainly, you know, not all of us can fly. Thor, gotcha. he got hooked up with um, Mel Melchiorn or whatever, that like, hammer. Mjolnir? Mjolnir. Yeah, yeah, Mjolnir. Um, Mjolnir. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. They gave me this back scratcher, which I thought is pretty cool until I saw he got, he got a cool-ass hammer that can fly. Sure. This thing really doesn't do much. It, you can get, you know, places where you weren't able to reach before, so that's cool. Um, but yeah, I kind of felt gypped when I saw that he got sort of an indestructible, immovable yeah. hammer that allowed him to, you know, control thunder and fly, and all I got was this kind of shitty back scratcher that looks like something you might get at, like, the gift shop at the Grand Canyon. I mean, listen, I don't want to be rude to your friend, but, like, Aren't his parents rich? Yeah, well, you know, we don't like, you know. Yeah, I don't want to. You don't want to talk wanna... about it, but his dad is Odin. Yes, his dad is. Okay, I thought so, yeah. King yeah. of Asgard, and, you know, he he would really try to not make a big deal out of that when we were roommates. Uh, and to be honest, you know, he he really tried to not bring it up a lot. But it's like, good. you can't escape that, you know. Your dad is literally Odin. You really so got to contend like, with it, yeah. Everybody's going to know about that. So um, what else do you, can you like you can't fly you can't no can't fly can you get super hard um, I'm you know, I'm ripped as shit yeah obviously obviously I mean, that's you're... just kind of like a genetics thing like, we're all pretty much fucking shredded your tone is bald that's for sure yeah but that's basically it I can't fly um, do you wait do you wish you could do what Thor could do or are you like you know it's been a lot of comparing and contrasting of our lives ever since we graduated and so I try yeah. you know, I try to find ways to stay satisfied with my own kingdom which of course is uh, Lowe's uh, sure. uh, they have kind of it's a hardware store basically but we also have home goods uh, which I'm really excited about so it's not you know like you could bring uh, you can go there looking for hardware and then maybe bring like a nice area rug home. Okay. Uh, yeah. Which I think that's pretty cool. So it's little things like that that make me feel satisfied that, you know, I'm not uh, a multi million dollar um, a movie star right, or I right. can't fly or, um, that's you know, I don't have quite the chiseled jawline yeah. um, that Thor has. You seem um, to be pretty well rounded, I'd say. We have our own things. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You kind of came out looking pretty good. We all have our good. own things. Well, a couple of things from our friends. If you have any questions for Sven, uh, former roommate of, of Thor, of Asgard, God of Thunder, uh, sorry to list his credits. No, um, yeah, I mean it happens a lot. Yeah. So. Um, Super Pizza asks, do birds ever poop on you from the trees when you try and enter the, the tree portal? Uh, no. Usually the birds are pretty cool about that. Okay. Um. Uh, you know, I, I haven't ever actually seen a bird in one of the portal trees. I'm not sure if that's because they're emitting some sort of radioactive energy. Um, that's a good point. Or, yeah, they from Asgard, too. Uh, but yeah. Nice. Um, motion design saying maybe you haven't unlocked the power of your back scratcher. 
Maybe not. You know, I, I haven't really tried too much with it. Uh, honestly, it works great as a back scratcher, so that's sort of my main thing that I use it for. Um, okay. If anybody has any ideas of how to unlock the secret power within it that might allow me to, you know, use it to fly or to uh, channel the power of the thunder clouds, that would be cool. But uh, to be honest, it's mainly like, you know, when you got one of those itches that you can't quite get, uh, it just gives you a little bit of that extra reach that you need. That's a power, I'd say. I'd that is a power. You know, if that's its full superpower, um, you know, it's the little things. It's yeah. the little things. Like a small area rug that you can bring home that really ties Or potted plants, you know. A lot oh of people don't God, know that yeah. Lowe's actually has not only um, uh, hardware and lumber, but we also have a wide variety of uh, both indoor and outdoor plants. Yeah. Um, a full greenhouse. So uh, that's, that's something cool. that I, I like to tell people about Lowe's. I love, I tried taking care of a plant once and it just kind of, you know, I wasn't really up to the task mm -hmm. or anything mm -hmm. right away. Mm -hmm. yeah. What would you have? What kind of plant? Fern. Fern, yeah. Tiny little fern. Yeah, those are usually pretty robust, mm -hmm. um, but <laughs> if you don't keep it in the right climate, uh, exactly. sometimes people overwater it. They have a tendency to overwater. That was my problem. That's my problem. Uh, yeah. Yeah. People don't think that you can do that. You know, they think, oh, plant. You know, it's just water. It'll drink when it gets thirsty. Not yeah. so. Uh, yeah, you can overwater a plant and that'll really mess it up. See, Sven, you're a good salesman. You're getting you're getting people to. Well, you don't become god of Lowe's uh, just hanging around. Yeah. You know? Of course. Uh, I've got a buddy from college, not Thor. This guy, um, Leaf. Um, he's god of his parents' basement right now. So uh, it's not really working out great for him. He's sort of yeah. god of. Um, it's a it's a finished basement, so you know. Okay. Uh, they have um, track lighting and. Uh, it's carpeted. Wow. Um, yeah, which I thought was a risk because, um, you know, in the rainy season, the, the, um, the basements have a tendency to flood. So I was right. thinking, you know, you know, you know, maybe throw tile down on that. It, know, it seems like an unnecessary risk. Sure. It seems like you're tempting fate. Uh, you're tempting literally the thunder god at that point by putting a carpeted finished basement. Uh, you're living at the whim of Thor, huh? You have to consider all your... Uh... I don't know. Yeah. Uh, but hey, look, we all have our own journey. Some people are god of Lowe's. Some people are god of their uh, parents' basement. Some people are god of a, um, a multi-billion dollar film franchise um, that is arguably monopolizing uh, the entertainment industry. Uh, who's to say? Cool. So, Thanks, Sven. That's really cool to hear that you're... People are really liking hearing your wisdom is all. I, ah, I got, I'm happy to give it. I got a couple more questions. Sure. Two more, maybe. Was Thor in a frat? And also, can anybody hold your back scratcher? Maybe that's the difference. Kind of like Thor's hammer where no one can lift it or whatever. Mm. Uh, no, anyone can hold it. Okay. Chantra? Yeah, go for it. It's another thing. Yeah, really feeling like maybe not even a magic thing. Um, yeah, it's good for that. Oh, my God. As yeah, it's got reach. They, um, oh, it's got reach. Jesus. In a frat. Uh, oh, no, yeah, okay. He was not uh, <coughs> a fraternity guy, really more of a theater theater nerd. Really? He kind of rolled with the theater crowd. Yeah, because he was a film film buff, kind of film film student. Uh, spent a lot of time doing that's, little skits and stuff. That's kind of like a frat in itself, you know? It, it is. You know, a lot of people say that. Like, you know, the theater department is kind of like its own frat. And they're all fucking. You know, you, seen all, Pot, you know right? that the theater kids are all fucking. Yeah. They're, they're a bunch of freaks. Yeah. Oh, for sure. Um, yeah. So I'm sure he got. And being Odin's son, and you've seen the guy, I mean, he's, you know. Yeah. He's even more shredded than I am. It's true. It's almost a joke where it's like, that guy's in theater. Yeah, exactly. Like the big guy's I in mean, theater. I mean, he was already hot, and then you put him with a bunch of like you know theater guys and he's just he's literally a god yeah so yeah uh, some people have it yeah. all i guess some people have it all maybe someone stole your magic one and replaced it with a dud you oh you that? think this might be um i mean it's a back a it's, a, it's a really good back scratcher it is but like maybe i don't know maybe there's a magical back scratcher out there yeah, I don't know. I'm pretty satisfied. Oh, okay, good. It's I a, think it's good. It's a good extra. It it's great, you know. Um, beggars can't be choosers. Again, your wisdom, man. So, so good. What else is in the chat? Okay, well, great. I think, um, is that the tree over there? That is, yes. That is definitely it. All right. Oh, that's glowing. Yeah, Jesus. All right, well, let's floor to the side here. Port, port, okay. Thank you. Wait, 
One last thing. Can you unban Super Pizza from a Lowe's? Hmm? Where's your Lowe's, Super Pizza? Our friend Super Pizza's been, ban been banned from a Lowe's. Can you unban him? Super Pizza, you've been unbanned from all Lowe's. He got banned for pooping in the display toilets. Oh, uh... Um, Wait, you already did it, though. Yeah, well, just... If, if they try to keep you out, just say that, um, that Sven said it was cool. And if they still keep you out, well, I've done all I can do. You're welcome. Thanks, uh, Sven. I almost called him Thor. <laughs> wow, what a nice guy. You know, you think some people like that might be a little entitled or something like that, but no, he's, he's pretty aware of his, of his, of his deal. That really cheered me up from the, uh, the dead Dutch kid from the 1800s who, uh, has no friends or really any, like, prospects. God, I hope he's okay. Oh, yeah, Sven just totally walked into that tree. Huh. How you guys doing out there? Um, Super Pizza? Yeah, I mean, there's bathrooms in Lowe's, I'm sure, like actual bathrooms. You ever seen Jackass? Never mind. Um, yeah, call him the, It's easy. You think, like, oh, he's obviously Thor. He looks like Thor. Um, could he be a tra time traveler? I think he might technically maybe be? I don't know if I don't know if Asgard's on the same clock as as us. If you're just joining us, hi. I'm Aristotle. I'm the show's tattoo artist, and I am uh, driving horse and horse and buggy carriage tonight for for some rent money. My license got suspended because hey, thank you, what a disaster. Twenty-five uh, bits. Does that add up to our our donation thing? Is that enough? Nope. Uh, for legal reasons, he was not Thor. I'll, I mean, you know, listen, for biological reasons, he's not Thor. Uh, God damn it. Okay. Hey, wake up, wake up a little bit. If you, someone donates one cent, I gotta say these Latin words. But until then. Yeah, call him Blade. I'm a tattoo artist. I have a tattoo shop called Th I Ink Dip Therefore. Ah! I ink, therefore I am. And, uh, yeah, I run it with my dad and my brother. Piece of shit. And, uh, great. Thanks, Lean Green Machine, for blue ballsing us. Appreciate it. Anyone out there? Hello! Whoa, whoa. Hi! Oh! 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 Uh, come on over! Okay! Wait, you. Do you need a ride? Okay, sure. Hello! Hi. Do you need Hi. a ride? Hi! Okay, great. Ah! Uh, hi, I'm very sorry. I've been doing that a lot recently. The gasps. Really? Yeah. That's not, I don't know, is that good? Oh, they're good uh, gasps. Oh, okay. Here's a little extra to get the next incantation started. What's that mean? I don't know. Um, well, great. I have to... I have to say these words. Okay. I hope you don't mind. Can I actually go urinate in the forest? It, yeah, sure. Well, I can... Well, go ahead. Thank you! Yeah, you got it. I'll be right back. All right. Godspeed. Godspeed. <laughs> I always thought that. All right, yeah, I gotta say this thing now. Uh, Pi Piperus homonym. Maybe that maybe it takes it, it takes a second. All right, what a disaster! Calm down. Hey, everything now, show. Don't be rude. I forgot that you kind of are a dick now in your own sentient kind of being. Say it. Wait, what? Piperus homonym. All right, I said it two times now. And then, what? Do I say it again? I don't know. Louder? Say it louder. <clears throat> Hold on one second. <clears throat> louder and sexier. Life before death. I don't know what that means. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Alright, one more time. <clears throat> Straight before we do this. Sexier, louder. Mm. Piperis 
Homonym! Oh no! Oh god! Um, it's, it's like a beetle juice, uh, it's, yes, kind of. I didn't say it, I only said it, I said it in Latin. I don't think I said it, I didn't, I didn't say it. I, I didn't say the real thing, I didn't say pepper, man. I didn't say it, I only said it once. I only said it once, and that's that, and that, that you know, the rules, uh, I think, are gonna be that, uh, it, I'm fine, because if I say pepper, man, I, uh, uh. All right, go faster, horses, go faster. No, 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 it's fine, it's fine. Do you guys hear that? Aristotle. I don't hear anything. I don't hear anything. Aristotle. I don't hear anything. He's by my butt? Aristotle. Who's by my butt, the peppermint? Oh, shit. Uh, <laughs> Are you feeling spicy? Ah!
can never hear you. Ugh. Am I a ghost now? Did I die? What the fuck? What a disaster! Jesus! Ugh. Ugh. Oh. <sighs> Did I? Yeah, am I dead? Okay, it's processing. I don't know why mine takes so long. Ugh. Phew. I'm still here. Uh, I think. Um, let me try one more. Okay, Whew. I'm still here. I'm really bad at selfies. Okay. Oh, my fucking. <coughs> How am I vitals? I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't, I don't um, guy, I don't. I don't. Uh. Okay, feel something. Oh. That was the worst thing. Don't you ever pay $15 and make me do that again. You might actually kill me. Or I, I don't know. I, might, I don't know. Maybe I died or something. I don't know. Can anyone see me out there? <laughs> oh my god, father! <coughs> what the heck, man? I'm sorry. I'm you so, left me. I'm I was so, mean. I said I would be right back. I'm so sorry. I got, I said the, this Latin phrase, and it summoned a demon, it summoned a demon father, and, and I, I, had to, I had to like outrun it, and he tried killing me, and he strangled me to death, but I came back to life. Uh, oh. Did you pee? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, the tank is empty now. Oh, okay. Whew. Where's my hat? Oh, it's right here. Huh, well. Okay. Got a little, uh, got a little work out in, but, uh... <sighs> like I was saying before, I get those gasps a lot when I, when I, when I enter, and, uh, they're good gasps because of, you know... I mean, look at me. Because <laughs> you're, because you're a priest? Huh? I guess it's kind of weird seeing a priest out in public if he's in his, like, his outfit. No, no, I'm like... Come on. Well, I'm gonna get going... I'm sexy! Horses, yeah! Did you just say you're sexy? Yeah, look at me! Right? Come on! Uh, chat, yeah, come on, let's get some affirmations out there. Chat, is he, is this a, is this a sexy priest? I'm trying, I'm always trying to pull, pull the, pull the people off me, you know? Are you really? I'm power of Christ! <laughs> get out of here! <laughs> I can't have sex forbidden, you know? Do you, do you really think you're, like, like really hot? I, I, I mean, listen, I'm all for self-confidence. I'm not. Ooh. Hey, okay, so yeah. I guess. Colin Blade says you really are. Super Pizza says, whoa. Sexy. Uh, oh, God, that hurt. Uh, so yeah, I mean, like... Everyone says you're... Says you're hot. Staz Corp says you That's might not what be. I'm saying. You might not be a real priest. Ever since season two of Fleabag came out, uh, man, I can't keep the ladies off me. Okay, I'm not. And some that. men. Watch out. Watch out. <laughs> Watch out. I don't want to. You might. You might. You might fall in love with me, baby. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah, um, I'm hot. I, I guess. Yeah. I mean, for a priest. You I should see what's under these robes. Just I, kidding. I, I can't I, have rather, sex. Yeah, it's forbidden. Please. That's part of the sexiness. Forbidden love. Please, no. Um, yeah, it's like it can't happen. Is that? No, it's like it's like a teacher thing. Or like something that's like, ooh, no, no. Taboo. Where am I taking you again? Taboo. Okay, got it. I don't know. You yelled at me. Remember? I was, I'm picking You're like, hello, and I'm like, hey! It's like a cat. Are you just out in the woods? Yeah! 
What are you doing out here? I'm just walking, being sexy, walking around. All right, Father. I'm I'm driving people around like it's like I'm like a cab. I'm like a cab. Oh, nice. Do you want me to bring you to somewhere? Uh, or? Uh, there you Sorry, sometimes that falls down, but it's like, it's it's nice and sexy, like a sexy week. Are you... Father, you, you can be honest with me, okay? I, are you are you on something right now? What? Some people in the chat think that you might be drunk or possibly... I'm drunk off the Holy Spirit, baby! Is it wine? Are you drinking wine right now? Is that what it is? I also have consumed a lot of wine! Okay, that makes sense. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. You're having a good time. Hey, that's within my religion. I, I can get drunk. Right, because if they if the people don't finish the wine in mass, um, whoever is giving the wine out has to finish it. So, yeah, baby! Did you just finish everyone's glasses of wine? <laughs> or, sorry, the blood of Christ. Well, you know, and then I drink on the side a little okay. bit. Okay, that's cool. Sure, that's yeah, that's fine. Uh huh. Um, yeah, wine is good for antioxidants. That's true. That's yeah. Do you have an extra? Have you performed exorcism before? Oh hell yeah! Whoa. I mean, heck yeah! <laughs> Just kidding. We can say hell. They say it in the Bible all the time. Yeah, I guess they do. Um, what was the? What was? What was that like? What was the last exorcism like? <sighs> Well, you know, most of the time it's like, you know, not really like a real, you know, usually people just have a headache and they're like, oh, right, get right, this right, demon right, out yeah. of me. Sure, sure. So, you know, I scream and I, I can do an exorcism on you if you want. Uh, yeah, there's a demon that's haunted me for the past year or so, and I'd really oh, like yeah? them to not be able to penetrate me anymore. Penetrate you. My spirit. Hell yeah, my soul. Dude. Okay, all right. That's what people want to do to me all the time. They want to penetrate me, but I'm like, hey, forbidden love, X nay on the X A. What do people say to you? What do you like? What do you? What You're do you like, say? hey, hunky. Who's that tall glass of wine? Okay. I'm like, I'm right here, but I can't. I can't kiss you. I mean, if you're getting surrounded by, like, do you, are you really that married to the faith? Yeah! Okay. I think like, really the right person came around, maybe I... Just kidding. Sorry, God. It's okay. Hey, you're, you're safe with me. If, if the right person came around, would you drop it all? Huh? If the right person came around, would you drop your priesthood for, for that? Uh, it's hard to say. There's a lot of people coming around. So, one comes, it's just like... Let's get it on. Okay. You know? Sure. Yeah. Uh, Chat. Yeah, let's do that exorcism. Oh. You yeah. said you got a guy following you? Yeah, I got. I have a. I have a, I have a demon following me. Uh, that's Teddy right there. Great. He's gonna sit in the back seat. Okay. You wanna come to the front? Yeah. All right. You wanna uh, stop? Okay. Some say the way I move is pretty sexy too. <laughs> Very gangly. Yeah. Ooh. Okay. What do we gotta do for this exorcism? All right. <laughs> Yeah, that's it's fine. really right up sometimes. Yeah, okay. Whoo! You okay? Yeah, this is my this is my smoldering face. Yeah, how would you like? Can you do like a flirting? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Example, I guess. Like, yeah, okay. Wow. Like, hey, hey, father. How how are you this Sunday? Oh, I'm great. See, yeah, this is a sexy priest. Wow, I, you know what? Maybe, maybe my taste isn't, you know, mainstream, but uh, I was, I'll support it if you're. Uh... All right, do you do that? Not today. <laughs> no sex for you. I'm priest. That's not allowed. Uh, <laughs> I guess it does wrap lady. Well, can you do a pity flirt face where you aren't actually into the other person, but you want them to feel encouraged? Okay, yeah. All right. Uh, so I'll, I'll be like. Uh, hold on. What's the exercise again here? Oh, we're doing it. All right. Oh yeah, you do you do the flirt, and I'll and I'll be like, yeah. Mm -mm. Um, hey, father, you're looking pretty good today. Uh, you want you want to jump? No. Mm. I I guess it's flirting technically. It's it's a little condescending, but. 
I would feel pretty bad if someone, if I was like, hey, you're like, you look real hot, cute, whatever. I haven't been dating in a while. Well, it's like that thing, it's like, I can't, but only because I'm a priest, you know what I mean? Right, if there was right, any other right. profession, okay. I'd be hopping on that wagon. Um, yeah, are we sure? I'd be jumping in that wagon. Might be a little too sexy for the show, I'm realizing, and you know, some of the people in the chat are. Oh, I'm sorry. What's your name again? Father... Huh? What's your last? Like, I guess... Like, what should I call you? Father... Uh, Glumbo! Glum... Glumbo. Father Glumbo. You got it. And that name's sexy. Yeah, I got it. I, I, I got it in some way. It is. G-L-U-U... U... MBO. You could put, probably put one U and have an umlaut on it, maybe. Well, three with all umlauts on it. That's three. That's umlauts. three umlauts on U's. Yeah. Uh, in my in, in back back in Germany, uh -huh. they'd say Glumbo. 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 What are your secrets to being sexy? That's what the super pizza's wondering. <laughs> I mean, hey, some 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 say you get it. Some say you're born. You're born. You're born? And some said some. I just have it, baby. Alright, cool. Well, if you have any questions out there for Father Gloombo, 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 Father Gloombo, um, Gloombo, Gloombo, please shout them out. Um, again, I'm. Do you want me to bring you to, like, the store? Or you want to go to restaurant you want to go back home you're just chilling hey man i mean i could go i could go for a, a drink okay local oh i don't know you seem nah who am i to judge yeah sure i'll take you to the tavern cool uh a couple things i want that exorcism if that's possible yeah let's do it okay also could you give us a sexy sermon someone's asking oh uh, sure yeah you want to do the sermon first or the exorcism first let's do the sermon first okay great <clears throat> God tells us to wa love one another. But you can't love me too much. Okay? Because I'm a priest. That's not going to work out. You can't be all attracted... I know a lot of you out there are looking up being like, that could be my man. That could be my, my hot pot. It can't happen. Cause if I, if I go out and I go through each pew and I, and I have sex with each and every one of you, that's not oh, going to look right. good. Oh, um, uh, oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> I saw, an, I thought I saw an owl. I wasn't paying attention. Yeah. Great, great, great sermon. That was super, Woo. super hot. Uh, a yeah. swarm of, swarm of dogs. Uh, malt, malting? Mm. Malt, yes. Uh, Sorry. I... <clears throat> it's okay. So yeah, this exorcism. Um, mm -hmm. We're almost near the tavern, so I'm gonna pull over. Maybe you can give me the exorcism. Okay, great. All right, Horsey, stop. Okay. Uh, okay. So what do I have to do? Look at me. Careful. Oh, because you're hot. Okay. You might. I can't. I'm sorry. It's forbidden. We can't do this right now. The exorcism? We can't. All right. We can't do this here. I don't want to do this looking here. at me. I don't want to do this here. Ah, man. Thank, thank you, you, thank you. You, you will never escape. escape. Thank you, Shaker, th Shaker's WC. Thanks. Follow because I'm hot. Look, we can't do this. The exorcism? You're why trying to you? kiss me. Why are you? Stop, please. Why are you? <sighs> oh, I'm fucked. You can't. This Come man, on, you fuck. told me you wanted an exorcism, and then you're... I don't... I want an exorcism, I don't want to kiss you right now. Not that I don't think- Hey, I don't want to kiss you either. What do you mean? Do, do you- That's what I'm hot. Yeah. Is that's this forbidden. Is this really the- That's forbidden. The exorcism's forbidden? No, the, the other thing that you want to do- I don't want to do, do that! 
Give me the exorcism. Okay, okay. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Stop. Dude, come on, you can't Stop. keep doing this, man. Stop it right now. You God damn it. You can't keep doing this. God damn it. Sorry. Sorry. Is that it? Or is there more to the exorcism? No, there's more, but you keep... I'm not trying to kiss you. You want to have sex with me. I never said that. You want to have sex with me. I didn't say that. Oh, this is embarrassing now. Uh, okay, fine. You know Don't worry about the exorcism. Um, I'll, I'll take you to the tower. No, I can go. We can do it. Fine. We can do All it. All right, here, we'll do, we'll do this again. I just won't look at you. Okay, I'm going to... Because if I look at you, you're going to be very attracted yeah, to me. And you're going to want to kiss me. Yeah, it's my fault. Yeah. I'm not trying to have sex with you. I'm not trying to kiss you. I'm not trying to have sex with you. I'm not trying to kiss you. I'm not trying to have sex with you. I'm not trying to have to kiss you. I'm not trying to have sex with you. I'm not trying to kiss you. I'm not trying to have sex with you. I'm not trying to kiss you. I'm not trying to have sex with you. I'm not trying to kiss you. I'm not trying to have sex with you. I'm not trying to kiss you. I'm not having to have sex with you. I'm not trying to kiss you. I'm not trying to have sex with you. I'm not trying to kiss you. I'm not trying to have sex with you. I'm not trying to kiss you. I'm not trying to have sex with you. I'm not trying to kiss you. I'm not trying to have sex with you. I'm not trying to kiss you. I'm not trying to have sex with you. I'm not trying to kiss you. I'm not trying to have sex with you. I'm not trying to kiss you. I'm not trying to have sex with you. I'm not trying to kiss you. I'm not trying to have sex with 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 you. I'm not Oh, sorry is that a hot priest. Am I done? Am I done? Am I cured? Okay. What a night. Maybe I can work at like a movie theater or something. Or... I don't know. What else? Give me some suggestions for jobs that don't require me being out here in the middle of the fucking woods in the middle of the night surrounded by... Whatever that was. DJ Gloom. Uh, maybe he knew. Yeah, that's weird. That's kind of symbol, similar. That was disturbingly arousing. Was he really that hot? Was he really that hot? Bartender? Maybe. Uh, they were hiring at Barley's. Maybe I can do that. I don't know. Hey, Dane Cook is back. Hey, man. Okay. God. Whew. My license was temporarily suspended because I was vaping while driving, so now I'm doing this for money. Uh, and I don't like it. Uh, Dane Cook, that's what's up. Uh, we had a sexy priest. Uh, I was strangled to death, but then I was not conscious from the, uh, the, the galloping of the horses in my carriage. Good job, horses. Uh, elevator operator, I can be good. I'm not going to become a priest. I'm not going to become a priest. I'm not trying to have sex with you. I'm not trying to kiss you. Um, you can't vape while driving? I thought this was America. I thought so. I don't know. I didn't care what about sexy. God damn it, no! Is somebody there? Yeah, hello? I don't see. Can you come closer? I don't see. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm um, sorry. I get that a lot. All right. Uh, Aristotle? Yeah. Great. Uh, I'm just meeting up with the uh, uh, Tinder date. Um, oh, so. okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah! Oh. So, how's it going? I'll be honest, it's been pretty weird. Uh, weird night. Oh, yeah? A lot of, uh, lot of weirdos tonight? <laughs> you must get that a lot, because you're, um... Yeah, it's, it's basically lift. Um, yeah, it seems that way. So... What's your deal? What are you? What are you? Uh, what are you about? Oh, I'm on my way to uh, Tinder date. Yeah, right, right. just got a got a hot match, you know. Okay. So, uh, that's that's uh, pretty exciting. Fingers crossed. You know, it's tough the dating scene, because it's like no one goes to bars anymore. You know, I know. Yeah. nobody does the bar thing. Not that I was having a ton of success with that, if you know what I mean. <laughs> but um. Sure. I don't know. I guess I guess this everyone's doing apps now, so I figured I'd yeah. try. Uh, yeah, Jimmy Jam. Paul Verhoeven made that movie, so obviously it's pretty fucked up. Uh, have you seen the? Uh... Seen what? Never mind. Uh, I don't see many so movies. I, yeah. Do you does, does does your date know what you look like? Oh yeah yeah yeah. Uh, the the uh, 
The invisible Thank thing. Thank you for saying yeah, that. Yeah, okay. no, I know. I just, um, you know, uh, I'm just so used to it now. Sure. That sometimes I totally forget that people see this and they're like, whoa. Yeah. Whoa, what's going on? Yeah, Hollow Man, uh, that's what it is. Yeah, no, I am invisible, that's right. Um, Have you, were you always like this, or were you born this way? Or like, where did yes, you become this? No, I was born this way. Okay. Uh, I was born invisible, which, gosh, you should have seen the look on the doctor's faces, I I'm sure. Because imagine. just imagine a fully dilated vagina and what seems like nothing coming out of it. Yeah, that's, that's no, pretty No, really fun imagine yeah. it. Just take some time to think. You're looking... At a fully dilated, we're talking, I don't know, six, seven, eight inches, and my invisible head is just popping through there. Now, mind you, covered in amniotic fluid, so oh. there's a sheen to it that you can see, but the rest, my skin, of course, is invisible, and so that must have been quite a shock, I'm sure, for the, uh, for the doctor in there. But I am invisible. Um, I've been invisible my whole life. Um, Okay. Uh, and I make it work. You seem like you make it work. I do yeah. make it, you I'm know, fine. it's not easy. It's yeah. definitely, it's like any other disability. Um, you know, the world is not created for people who are like me, and so Tell me about I it. have to adjust. But yeah. uh, it can be tough finding work. Sure. Obviously. I got a lot of great questions from my friends, actually. Oh, okay. of course. Yeah. Hey, sure. You know, uh, part, part of this is... is um, about and awareness and exactly. educating the public so that when you see an invisible person, which uh, you won't, sure, obviously. How many, like, are we often surrounded by invisible people who just don't know it? Uh, no. Um, it's pretty rare. It's rare. You know, usually we're wearing clothes in, in warmer climates. Like, there's a lot of invisible people, for example, in L.A., uh, because the weather is so nice, you can get away with being naked all the time. Wow. Because, uh, yeah, obviously our clothes are not invisible, and so as you can see, um, my uh, glasses, hat, and shirt, yeah, my you get, watch. You're getting confidence on the um, too. Oh, thank you. Yeah, this is, you know, I like to, I actually, I just got a new job, so I'm oh. trying to flaunt. Yeah, I'm okay. a, um, uh, I'm what's called a living mannequin for Tom Cruise. Oh. Uh, yeah, Tom Cruise. Uh, he hired me to be a personal living mannequin, a live-in mannequin. Basically, he likes to see his outfits um, gotcha. when he when he chooses something to wear for an interview or something. He likes to bring me in, sure. and I put on the clothes for him because he he has this thing where if he sees somebody else wearing the clothes, uh -huh. uh, it fucks with his head. It's something to do with Scientology, I think. Maybe I'm not sure. Um, so he likes to have somebody who can move around in the clothes, and then he can picture himself uh -huh. in the clothes. Um, I so a, I'm, I'm a live-in... I have a lot of questions about that, but uh, I want to get to the chat here. here. Um, were your parents invisible, or was anybody in your family invisible? Uh, no, I think it's sort of one of those um, non-dominant genes, or what are those called? Like a recessive gene? Uh, a recessive gene, yeah. So it's like maybe a couple generations back, uh -huh. someone in my family was invisible, but I am... Uh, I'm not aware of anybody, you know, my grandparents were visible, my parents were visible, so it must have been way back down the line um, that somebody had a uh, invisible sort of an invisible gene. gene. Yeah. Gotcha. Um, this is a small one, you, you don't have to talk about it much, but did you happen to match with a priest on Tinder? Um, I don't think so. Um, That'd be kind of weird, right? That would be strange, yeah. Um, I'm not religious. That's kind of a red flag for me. Oh, sure. Like on Tinder when that. somebody puts... You know, not that I, you know, I can't get along with people who are spiritual, but it's like if, if that's such a big part of your life that you're putting it on your dating profile, that to me is, a, you know, like I'm I'm open-minded, but I like somebody, you know, I don't know what I'm trying to say. I don't want to seem it. bigoted. I get you know, it. You know, it's 2019. I get it. Believe in what you want to believe. Sure. Uh, but personally, I'm agnostic. I get it. Uh, you know, I think there's sort of a big picture, a, great, a grand mystery that we're all trying to solve. Right. Were you bullied in school because of your, your invisibility? Was that like a, a, a troublesome thing to deal with at first? Uh, yeah, you know, the kids would pick on me. Um, they would uh, call me names, uh, but you know, everybody gets that. Yeah. So, I, you know, the, the sure. short kid, the fat kid, the, the invisible, invisible kid, kid. it's yeah. all, you know, whatever is weird about you, they're going to pick on. Makes sense. Um, uh, Casper, the unfriendly ghost, they would call me, which I don't um, really know. Uh, it seemed, yeah, and it seemed like a weird reference, too. Um, yeah, because there's, there's invisible characters in pop culture, but they call you... And Casper's not invisible. No. Casper is a visible ghost. Yeah, he's so. very... 
Um, Milky White. That did not really, yeah. that did not connect for me. But hey, you know, kids are not, they're not known for being logical. They're known for being mean-spirited True. Uh, and cutting to the core. And very, so that's what they did. Very emotion heavy, I guess. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Uh, well, shoot, man, uh, this is fascinating. So do you have any idea, like, yeah, so you, you think someone in your past might have had a recessive gene? Maybe. It's different for a lot of people. You know, we have meetup groups. Um, really? There's other invisible people, and I've met other people who are invisible for other reasons. I know this guy, uh, Kevin, who's from uh, uh, Columbus. We met over Facebook. Huh. He became invisible um, because he uh, spilled yogurt on his pants uh, and he found a Zoltar machine. You know Zoltar from the movie Big? From Big, yeah. Exactly. Uh, he went up to one of those and he, <laughs> he wished to be invisible because uh, he had spilled uh, he'd spilled something on his jeans and it was sort of a tongue-in-cheek wish and, you know, uh, sort of the, the monkey's paw that Zoltar is sure. uh, when it made him completely invisible. And, so, yeah. What's uh, what? Stain, not removed, by the way, I should mention. Ooh. Stain on the Wait, pants. So you can see the... Okay. So it's an invis... Yeah. Real, and, you know, we all, we all had a laugh about it, you know, when we met up and he shared the story, but truly probably very traumatic for him to yeah. have grown up being visible. Not easy. You yeah. know, imagine his poor mother, his poor family... Oh. He comes home, used to be visible, now he's invisible. Yeah. You know, sometimes I'm thankful that uh, my parents, you know, there's the initial trauma of the, you know, again, fully dilated vagina and nothing coming out of it. Yeah. Uh, the horror that that was in the delivery room. Uh, truly, truly traumatic. It's, but at least, you know, we got it over with. Lovecraftian, to say the least, I'd say. Yeah. Absolutely. Um, a good question here. Great question, by the way, folks. Um, Spaz Corp, do you use your invisibility to pull pranks on people? Uh, you know, in my early age, uh, I would. I would, uh, I would get into a little, uh, trouble here and there. The, the annoying thing about the invisibility is, again, the clothes do not get invisible. So every time that I wanted to play a prank where I would use my invisibility to my advantage, I would have to get completely nude. Um, <laughs> yeah, that so yeah. that can make things uh, difficult when you're trying to go somewhere where it might be cold, you know, it's a lot, you know, I'm not a big guy, so uh, I, don't, <laughs> I don't have a lot to keep me warm. Mm -hmm. uh, but some pranks that I would do, uh, let's see, I would uh, stand sort of inside, uh, well, you know, um, What's the, the, the classic? Uh, I would stand inside like a locker room, uh, which I guess now I'm thinking is not really a prank and more of a, um, a gross violation of a privacy. Yeah, yeah I mean, but you know, you're I a kid, it. you're, you're a horny teenager. You realize, like, wait, I could do that? Yeah, yeah um, and that again goes back to really shouldn't have been naked. Like, that did not help anything. Um, well, but. Yeah, yeah, someone is asking here, um, wouldn't you have never developed a fear of nudity if no one could see you? You'd think that, um, but I know. You yeah, know, I know what yeah. I'm working with, and I cannot uh, stress enough that it's not a lot. Yeah. Um, uh, it's a shame because uh, conventionally I'm very, I'm my, if you were to, blind women tell me all the time that I have a very conventionally attractive face. You know, I've dated huh. a few blind women uh, and they'll do the thing where they'll kind of, you know, like feel, like, a little bit, feel yeah. your, yeah, feel your uh, face. And they say that I've got um, a really sort of traditionally handsome face, uh, but my penis is tiny. I have this very tiny little hey, penis. Hey, man, that, listen, that's um, nothing, not inside of the boat, it's the motion of the ocean, as mm, pizza says. Uh, yeah. You know the expression, I'm a grower, not a shower? Yeah. Uh, well, I'm <laughs> definitely not a shower, obviously. Uh, and it turns out not a grower either. So, uh, but that's hey, fine. you know, uh, I get I work with celebrities, so that's uh, you know an hey, aphrodisiac in its own right. Pretty validating, right? I'd say. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Sure. Yeah. And plus, you still got fingers in the mouth. What is that? That's right. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. I'm great with my invisible fingers. Yeah. Well, shoot. you know, sometimes because they can't tell the difference, sometimes I'll just kind of like wad up my fingers, and, then, and it's like you know, you don't know what's going in. Wow. It could be you know, is it my wow. penis or is it a wad of my fingers? And, and so that is a trick that I've sort of learned over years of uh, intimate relationships. Okay. Um, I would say you can use that at home, but it's kind of an invisible guy trick. You yeah, know? It's I feel like that to, would really work for Maybe if you get it really dark, but uh, yeah, okay. I wouldn't recommend it. Sure. Some people are saying this is inspiring. That's, that's good. A um, couple quick questions. Um, do you have a skincare routine? Do you have, do you have to worry about your skin? 
Uh, yeah, you know, I, I can't, you people can't see my acne, uh, but I do have some acne, and I, you know, it's again, I can feel it. It's painful right. in the way that acne typically is. Yeah, you get yeah. pressure on it when you're laying on, you know, on your face. You can sort of, it's uncomfortable. Um, so I've got a three, uh, you know, and uh, a rinse, an exfoliant, and then uh, a moisturizer that I try to use. You know, you're supposed to use it twice a day. I will usually only use it once a day. Um, but if I've got, like, tonight, before I came out, I, I did a double. You know, I did it okay. twice a day because uh, I got the date tonight. So. Right, right, right. Um, not that she can see it, but, you know, look good, feel good, feel good, look good. Yeah, and, you know, Scott's Corp is right. I think you're going to do fine on this Tinder date. Thank you. Yeah, I think you're going to be doing pretty <laughs> thank good. You, thank you, thank you. I'm assuming Soup is the name that he can afford the beautiful chain because of his job in the entertainment industry. Yeah, this was actually a, uh, a gift oh. from uh, Tom. Wow. Uh, yeah, he let nice. me have this. He, he saw This was actually his. He was thinking about wearing it, and then he saw it on me. He said, you know what? Uh, I would feel ridiculous in that thing, but you look great. And, you know, I don't know. I don't know if he's just blowing smoke up my ass, but I feel good. Oh, no, you yeah, know, I hey, feel good wearing it. Feel so good, look good. I feel good, look good. Feel good, look good. Big, exactly. Yeah, look exactly. good, feel yeah. good. So, I, uh, so, yeah, I appreciate um, what Tom is doing for me, uh, letting me work with him. It's been a, it's been a lot of fun. That's good. Um, Are you a Scientologist? You know, uh, I they've approached me. They've okay. done the e-reader thing on me, Ooh, and to be audited. honest, I've been audited, yeah, and it's it's an interesting system. I think it's it's one of those things where it's like a lot of self, you know, good self-help stuff that like I the think... the core of it is... Yeah, there's good material in there, but yeah. you wrap that in with the money, you know, there's the whole payment plan a thing. troublesome. Yeah, it starts to get muddy, where like sure. a lot of these, you know... Um, it's kind of like Mormonism, I feel the same way, where it's like you have a lot of good stuff in here, you know, there's a lot of, a lot of genuine good advice um, and, and sort of uh, like a moral anchoring, uh, but there's all this other sort of mishigash sort of wrapped in with it that, you know, I'd like to throw the uh, bathwater out and keep the baby, but right. I don't know if it's possible. Well, th this has been a very enlightening talk, man. I'm glad to have met you. What's your name again? Oh, my name? I, I just go by the Invisible Man. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, I'm trying to get that going. There's Like I said, there's other Invisible Guys going, sure. but it's kind of like a branding thing now where I want to be known as the Invisible. You are technically in the celebrity circles. So exactly. Guess, you know, sense. now that yeah. I'm trying to get kind of my own career going, you know, I've been talking with Tom. Um, he's been introducing me to, he introduced me to his manager. There's Ooh, a lot of, you know, wow. we're starting to get a little buzz. Uh, Netflix is actually talking to me what? about potentially starting a series. Um, so, yeah, so, I'm the Invisible Man, <laughs> um, cool. and if you could call me that, uh, you can follow me on Instagram, I'm the Invisible Man. Really? You have any uh, follow followers? Uh, not a lot yet, okay. uh, but uh, I'm, I'm working on it. My selfie game, as you can imagine, is, is not super strong yet. Sure. I haven't quite figured out what my angle is, um, so I, I'm still trying to figure that out, but I'm hopeful. I think it's going to work out. That's good, yeah. Super Pizza, I'm pretty sure that's a TV show already. That, that might have just been made, actually. Um, well, shoot. Anyway, I think that's uh, the spot where I'm yeah, my date right up uh, over there. So. Local hot bar, that's good. All right. Stop, horsies! Uh, geez. Hey, real pleasure to meet you. Yeah, absolutely. It's a pleasure. Uh, yeah. Oh, okay. Right Whoa, yeah. I didn't even see that. Yet. Yeah. Oh, there's the wristwatch. Yeah, yeah, the watch that helps you with yeah. the handshakes. You know, little tricks like that. You know, growing up invisible, you start yeah. to catch catch on with these things. Hey, it was a pleasure. Nice to meet everybody in the chat. Uh, the have man, a good folks. night. Uh, wish me luck on this date. Haha. <laughs> yeah. Good luck. Um, Jimmy Jam. I thought that was uh, there's a there's a Paul Rudd TV show right now. I don't know. Well, that was cool. I almost forgot that I died tonight. I was nearly molested by a priest. All right. Um. Great. Who else? I gotta. I gotta do this. I gotta. Get, I gotta make rent. I gotta do this. I can't be dead. Uh, please don't donate to this bar anymore. Um, if you donate us to $15, I'll be forced to say this Latin phrase and then bring to summon a demon uh, who I will not say the name of. I will not say the name of. You cannot make me say it. I'm not trying to have sex with you. I'm not trying to kiss you. 
Um, I'm Aristotle, and let's pick up another passenger. Hi, Dark Darkest Army Soldier. Thanks, everybody, for tuning in. Um, good to see you again, Gem, and uh, Soup is the name. Haven't seen you in a minute. It's good to see you. Uh, all right, what did you, why? Why would you do that? Why would you do that? I just said, I just, just said. Um, you can see it right there. I'm not gonna say it out loud. See it right there. Hi, are you Aristotle? I, I am, yes. Hi. Hi. Yeah, come on in. Yeah. God, I just... Oh, wow. I can't believe it. I just got stood up on a date. Really? Yeah. Oh, no. I mean, he said he was going to meet me at 9 o'clock sharp. He said, I, I promise... At that, at that bar right there? At that bar right there. He's like, I'll meet you there. And he said he wouldn't be a minute late. Or... A minute early. He said he'd be there right at nine. And I have a principal. I just told myself. I said, Hagatha, you cannot keep waiting. You cannot keep waiting for Matt. So I just, uh, he wasn't there when he said he would. And I was just like, what, what, okay. What does he, what does he look like? He said he was supposed to be tall. He said he's handsome. He'd be wearing a, 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 some jewelry of some kind. And I just, I saw nothing. This might, I'm not trying to insult you. I saw nothing. Trying to insult you. You know, just. Where would you like to go? Home. Okay. I've had a hard like. Sure. Dating is like. Oh, dating. Oh my God. Tell me it's about hard. it. It's hard. Right. People just. Uh, yeah. People just don't like listen anymore. You know. I, like they I say, that, they're yeah. gonna be there. And then they're not. Is there a chance they? He might have been invisible. Is what I'm saying. You know. That's not nice. To about first. I didn't mean that in like an insulting way, but he might have literally been invisible. Um, I dropped off a guy a second ago who he was, I don't know how tall he was, but he had, go, he had jewelry on. I don't know. He had a gold okay. chain. Maybe, but I, I'm done. Okay. I'm done waiting, you know? Yeah, getting stood up sucks, but you can get wasted while you wait on them to show up late. Um, I don't know. That's not, that's not I mean, but then you're sloppy for a first date. Yeah. The first dates are all about pretending to be the best version mm -hmm. of yourself. Like, like I do like all of the same bands as you. And like, yeah, like, I, I know some spells or like, whatever. Sure. Like, it's not a big deal. But like... So what, yeah. what's your deal? What you, uh, what, what's your name, by the way? Hagatha. Hagatha. Right? Yeah. Yes. Pleased to meet you, Hagatha. Hi. What are you? I, I'm Aristotle. Well, no, what are you? Oh, I'm a tattoo artist. Oh, but also, what are you? Like, like, um, like, are you a person? Are you a werewolf? Like, these woods are really fucked oh, up. Oh, right. These woods are really fucked up, you I, know. I, you shouldn't be driving without a hood on your car, at least. Like, it's a carriage, but yeah. I, like, well, yeah, it's a carriage. That's what I'm saying. There's no protection on the sides. There's sure. a lot of creatures out here. There's a lot of beings. It's just like... Like, you should be more careful or something. I need the money right now. So I'm just kind of doing what I can do. And also, hey, if any, any consolation, the guy you were trying to go on a date with might have had a very tiny penis. Oh, well, it's not about size. I, I, just, I know you're right. That, that makes sense. Sorry. I don't know why I said that. I what if they're a good conversationalist, you know? Yeah, of course. Yeah. That makes sense. I'm a human. I'm a human. You're human? Yeah. Whoa! Hey, I haven't met one of you guys in a long time. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, my God, you're strong. So Holy shit. So much flesh. Oh my god. Um, hi, Daddy Cup. Uh, what, hi. are you not human? Oh, I'm a witch. That makes sense. I guess that, that makes sense. Yeah. That makes sense. Yeah. That's cool. Wow. Like, we're not all green. You know? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's, yeah. A, that's a stereotype, actually. Sure. I yeah. I didn't assume. Yeah. I didn't assume. Yeah. Uh, you're not a human witch, or you're just a, you're a witch? I'm a witch, no. Oh, okay. Not a human. Wow. Yeah. Broomstick, also stereotype? Broomstick. Called, called well, I mean, that's just an easy way to get around, but this is nicer because you get to talk, you know? Oh, yeah, you get to interact. Like, you go in the air, you just kind of throw in headphones because the wind. Yeah, it's just yeah. like, it's too much. Are you a fan of Mal... Mal... Maleficent? Maleficent? Yeah. She's a bitch, but she is Ooh. beautiful, so I don't... Yeah. I can't even. You can't even, yeah. 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 Um, I, yeah. She, uh, yeah, sorry. I, got, I mean, I do have a cat, though, but that's oh, really? just that's just because I haven't met anyone. So uh, it's like, okay. you know, you get lonely, so it's like you find cats. Cats are beautiful. I love cats. I'm allergic, but I love hanging out with cats. Yeah, they're nice. Yeah. 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 So do you, is being a witch your, like,
job also? Yeah, I mean, like, you know, like, some people are, like, born to be actors, and, like, or, like, some people are born to, like, I don't know, be a firefighter. Like, I was born a witch, so I didn't have a choice, you know? Right, you're kind of, like, yeah, kind you're, of you're stuck with it. I yeah. was kind of that way, too. My dad uh, was an artist, and my, it was in the film industry also, okay. so it was kind of, like, in and around that kind of yeah. space, and I couldn't really try anything else, really, even if I wanted to. Yeah. It was just kind of, yeah. Well, what are you, uh, what are you up to tonight? You're, you're going home? You're guessing up on a date? I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah, that's all right. Yeah. It's just like, um, it's just hard, you know? Because it's like, you think you're a good person, and you like, you're like, oh, like, I have so many things to offer in a relationship, like, and then just see you sit up. It's like you talk and it's all nice and fine. And then like they just they show you up on a date. It's like can you, can you okay. believe that? Uh, yeah. Can you believe that? It's the worst. Whose hand is that? Oh, this. Yeah. It was the last human I met, but he wasn't as nice as you. Don't worry. And I have all that I need. So. All right. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I have, my friends have some questions, but that's okay. That's fine. Um, oh, is it like spirits from the realm? Or... Kind of. talked to them a little, little bit. Yeah, yeah. They're, my, they're like, they're just pals. Yeah. Um, how much does witching pay? How much does witching pay? A surprisingly good amount. Wow. I take care of most of my own health insurance, you know, because like spells. But um, I have a really great retirement fund, and I actually make like close to six figures. So I'm doing fine. And that's what I like. See, I have financial security. Like, I don't know. I'm not like. I'm not like idiots like most witches. It's like I don't, I, I yeah. don't get it. You, like, you, you look, know? look pretty normal to me. Thank you so and much. And good for a witch. Yeah. Thank you so much. Um, what else? Um, what's your favorite spell to cast on people? My favorite spell. Oh my god. Stop me if you hear this. <laughs> okay. Okay, it's really fun. So basically, what I do is I simmer on low for like two to three days. I throw in so many ingredients like into one pot, like bones and everything, I let it simmer for two to three days, and then you have a beautiful fall soup. That was a joke. <laughs> My favorite one is when I turn your blood into lead, and then your, it, your veins just come out of your skin. But this, I made a joke, like I'm funny, like, yeah. like I can joke. You're very like, funny, yeah. Uh, listen, any... I just like, I don't get it. Any human or invisible man is very lucky to have. It's just... Dating sucks, I know. You get it. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I totally get it. Um, uh, is, is that him for a spell? Uh, is it him for a spell? Yeah. Yeah, actually, so this is going to be... Um, I'm going to make... I Okay, don't tell anyone. I'm really embarrassed about this, but I have a love spell that I've been meaning to try. Like, a lot of people are like, oh, that's not a good way to meet people. That's not really, like, authentic. Yeah, that's not. Risky. That's not a meet cute... But like, I'm tired, and I I'm getting up there. So I like I'm gonna do a love a, a love like spell, and so basically it requires the blood of a man scorned, and I throw it in, and I like cook it all up, and then I slip that into someone's drink. So I'll go to a bar, like, and don't judge me, okay? Like, I, hey, I go to a nice. bar, and then I put it in the drink, and then they like they fall in love with me. But I gotta be careful, because what if that guy sucks? It's like a first date, like, yeah. what if it's just like, he's a terrible person? Like, there's a lot that goes into it. And if he does suck, what do you... You're stuck with him because he's in love with right, you, and yeah. then you have to kill him, and then you have to do the whole spell over again, and it's super labor intensive, so it's like, and there's no Giada at home. Or like Paula Dean for like being a witch. Like you gotta like fucking do your research. Maybe that could be you. It, it could be like with Paula Dean of witches. Whoa. Just not a racist witch. Um. Yeah, and I wouldn't put butter in everything. Yeah, yeah exactly. I'd put blutter. That was a joke. <laughs> that's really, that's really funny. That's a joke. You're you're, you're really funny. Um, Thanks. <laughs> what did that guy do? This guy? Yeah. Oh, he just, like, he crossed me. Like, he, I was just having a bad day, and he was walking through the woods. A really well-intentioned hiker, but, like, I needed, I needed materials. And it's, like, you can't just right. go to, like, Michael's. Like, ah. Like, you have to really, like, I, not, yeah. I have a hard job, is what I'm trying to say. Sure. So, I have to. I, this might be rude. You can feel free to turn it down. Yeah. How old are you? Ballpark. How old am I? Yeah. Oh my god, I am 
324. Thank you. I know wow. um, it looks a lot better than I thought. You don't look a day over 341? Thank you. Yeah, I Thanks. Yeah. Um, I'm getting a call. Do you mind if I take this? Please, by okay. all means. Hello? No, it didn't. It didn't go well. No, you should. I got stood up. Um, yeah. No, it's okay. I know. I like. I got a lot to. Um. Yeah. I'll like. We can like come over and we can like drink the blood of bats later. Like get a little crazy. You know. You know, blood of bats makes me feel like sexy. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. You're a good friend. Okay. I'll call you later. I'm in the car. Yeah, I took a car. I took a car. Because I didn't want to fly. Yeah, okay. Sorry. It's okay. Personal. Uh, yeah, it's, it was one of my good friends. She okay. just like wanted to hear about how the date went. Oh, so. uh, yeah, yeah. Um, and she like, lives in the bottom of a lake, so it's like really hard oh, to really? talk to her. So when she calls, I feel like I have to pick up. I bet Single's bad, yeah. Yeah, Single's yeah. really bad. Uh, phone call? Phone call. Uh-huh. Ah, hey! Hey! It's kind of funny. That was funny. There you go. Yeah, yeah, you get it. Yeah. Um, did you drink a little bit at the bar? You said that someone's... It's fine. You did. I mean, no. No? Okay. I actually really don't drink that much. It's just like when your vocal cords are strained for over 300 you years. You are 300 plus years old, yeah. Exactly. I mean, shit starts... Shit starts hurting, man. Body like, breaks like, down. I start, like, yeah, like my back hurts now, like in a way that it never yeah. has before. I can barely handle 25. I coughed up a lung, like a whole, like people say that, but I coughed up a whole lung the other day. That's okay. And then, yeah, it's fine. Oh, crap. Yeah. Yeah. Hi, Nibu. Hi. Kinzia. Uh, well, shoot, does anyone else have any questions about, uh, uh for, for our friend here, Hagatha, yeah. the witch? Can you tell us a surprising fact about being in your 320s? Well, I did just say that stuff oh, starts yeah. hurting. Sure. That's crazy. But what they don't tell you is when you turn 325, which I get to turn next year, yeah. you get to do all kinds of crazy stuff that you don't get to do in the whole first, like, blink of your life, you know? Ow. So when you turn 325, you can rent a broomstick. Um, it's kind of like a, yeah. That's a right, good so thing it's too. like you can own one, but you can't rent one because for right. some reason it's like a liability because you haven't flown enough. But like, when you're 325, you can rent your own broomstick. Mm -hmm. And also, if you were on your parents' like insurance, like it just goes away. So. Yeah, it's kind of it's very human. Also, mm -hmm. it's a tough sell. Did you see a? Did you happen to see a sexy priest at the bar? No. That sounds dangerous, though, because, like, priests historically burn me. Oh, wow, like, yeah. Like, not just... That'd be kind of risky, yeah. Like, not, like, burn, like, Uber all, like, you need to change your robe, but, like, sure. literally light me like on roast. fire. Oh, a literal roast. Um, yeah, so, okay. but that's, like, I don't know, like, at this point, that sounds, like, kind of fun. Is it kind like, of kinky? Like, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, I guess. If you're into that, like, good, no shame here. Yeah. There you go. Uh, a couple things. Did you know the Founding Fathers of America? I guess you've been around that. Kind of that whole Yeah. Yeah, they were, they, they had terrible fashion sense. And I, like, okay, I'll let you in on a secret. Ooh, gosh. Mount Rushmore was done by witches. You think men can carve uh, that well into the side of a mountain? Uh-uh. They employed us. And we used our artistic skill to carve away the side of a mountain. But then what did we get from it? Nothing. 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 Wow. What, who, I guess I want to tag this on the Super Pizza's question. Huh? What's your favorite pop culture depiction of witches? What's the most accurate? Hmm. The most accurate. Okay. Um. Ooh. Okay, you know in The Wizard of Oz. Right. Really? When a house falls on her mm -hmm. and the feet curl up, that actually happens. No kidding. Like the witches themselves aren't that accurate, but the only true piece of like witch like iconography that is totally accurate, if something hits you, like if you get injured, that thing just curls right up. Huh. But then what they don't tell you is you just grow another one back. Wow. Weird. It's crazy. Which bodies are weird? It's crazy. Do you melt if you touch by water? 
Yeah. Cool. Gotta drink eight glasses a day, yeah? Hey, there you go, yeah. You know? Everyone do. Well, Agatha is yeah. I mean, almost... Yeah, that's my hovel. Yeah? Okay. Yeah. Oh, hey, look. oh God. Yeah. What's the biggest misconception of witches? That's the last question, and then we'll uh, mm. call it here. Biggest Hi, Mystic Toad One. That we eat children. <laughs> I don't want to eat a child. There's not enough meat on there. It's so little. Like, what's I gonna do, be a snack? <laughs> yeah, like a bag of lays or something? Yeah, like yeah, yeah, it's like the baked ones, too, so it's like uh, they fill the bag with God. air, and then, oh, my hand! Uh, oh my god, I'm so sorry. No, it's fine, don't worry about it. Oh, I got blood on the bottom, is that okay? That's cool, don't worry I'm about so it. I'm so sorry. It, don't, it's okay. It's yeah. Okay. Um, no, but like, children, so it's like the, the lays bag filled with air, and there's only like this much chips at the bottom, that's like a child, so it's like, <laughs> I'm not gonna eat a child. <laughs> okay. Okay. I will um, eat a full grown man. Okay. Horses, not stop! Not you! Uh, thank you, I appreciate hey. that. Yeah. It was, uh, was it really? It's okay. Okay. <laughs> 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 okay. Hey, I'll catch you later, man. Yeah, nice to meet you, Hagatha. Nice to meet you. Have a good night. Wow. Okay. That was, uh. That was kind of nice, but also a little, uh, I'm a little, a little freaked. Okay. I could probably pick up one more passenger. Uh, or a couple, we'll see. Holy shit. Welcome. Hi, everybody who's just joining us. I'm Aristotle. I'm the show's tattoo artist. Um, I normally drive Lyft on the show, but, um... Okay. Is that full? Why do I do this to myself? I could easily not do this. I could have been like doing a thing of like, yeah, I'll do like a drum solo if I if I hit fifteen dollars or something like that. I could have, uh, you know, I it could have done like a dance, you know, or like eat something weird. But uh, no, 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 I I, I, ch I chose this life apparently. I, I, I did I did this to myself, and um, maybe I deserve what's coming to me. Maybe I deserve to die. That's what I'm realizing here. Maybe I deserve to get choked out and to to wither and die out in these woods. Because I'm realizing that the world is much fuck, much more fucked up than I ever expected. And uh, maybe I'm not cut out for it, <laughs> you know? So thanks, whoever donated. Who did that? Who did, who did that to me? Who donated? All right. you. All right. I'll say it. Thank you, Slap Factory. Uh, appreciate that, Daddy Kev. Great. Well, I haven't even said it yet. Pip Piperus hominum. Did I say that right? Piperus hominum. Bring it on, bitch! Pipper is hot Listen, I have a lot of these, so I gotta remember what everybody tries. But... I I thought I was dead, and then some the, the jostling of the horses rocked me back to you life. You were supposed to die. You're supposed to try dying. Sorry. Yeah. You didn't die. I can't help it if I don't die. Okay. But you blacked out, right? You died for a little bit. I was I was gone for a while. What did you see? I saw like a tunnel of colors wrapping around itself, and I saw. My mom, we were at a Rigfield Big Fish concert. Uh, my dad and my brother were fighting each other but smiling, and that was kind of weird. And then I saw this girl from high school I really liked, but she didn't really 
Pac Me Much and what you did. She was like, that's a weird accent. And I said, I don't really have an accent. But anyway, I, yeah, it was, it was like, it was, I saw my life kind of like roll in front of me. Interesting! Yeah. But you didn't fully die. No. You know, when, when I got summoned, when I got flung out, after I did that too, I, 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 I felt this weird thing in my chest. Uh -huh. This thing is like, it kind of like digs at you, and when you when 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 you do something that maybe isn't right, I don't know, but I just kind of felt something, and guilt? I was like, huh? Guilt? Uh, guilt? Yeah, that's a, that's a word. Guilt. I've never heard of it. How do you describe guilt, chat? I don't think, I don't know. Help me out here. I'm not scared of you anymore, Pepper Man. And you know, whatever I was feeling, I always think, I, I'm always like, well, if I'm going to have people try something, I need to try it too. <clears throat> Wait, what? And... Spazcorp says, strange, that looks like the same change the Wolfman was wearing. Yeah, these? Yeah, yeah I okay. found that. The guy, he was full of wolfing out. Um, oh, shit. Yeah, he was full of wolfing. Uh, he <sighs> left these behind, but... Um, what do you say? And you I was say like, I, I didn't try. I've never tried death. And who better to help me try it out than my good buddy, Aristotle. Wait, wait, wait. Nobody, I'm like, I can't, I can't tell people to try things if I haven't tried them. It's like I'm not being, I'm not being fair. Thank you for the descriptions of guilt. The feeling of nagging regret uh, of an action or thought. Nah, I think I just ate a bad, ate a bad pepper. That sounds right, right also. Uh, Hold on, do you want me to kill you? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I, I don't know. I, I don't want to deal with Dying or getting killed or killing, I, I just okay. Then you then I, it won't be me trying killing. It will be you trying murder. What? You gotta do it. Let's try this with the pepper man. Okay, I'm gonna pull over for this. Ugh. Stop, horsies. <laughs> Chat, should I? Can you cover your ears for a second? Sure. Your horses. Chat, should I try killing? Chat, should I try killing the Pepper Man? I mean, I, I guess I don't have a choice, but I just want to hear your thoughts. Should I, should I kill the Pepper Man? I guess that would solve my problems. I wouldn't have to worry about him haunting me anymore because I couldn't get that exorcism from that priest. Well, does he? No, it's a trick. How do I kill him with kindness? Killed you a little bit, but you should kill him just a little bit too. Two, one, okay, it's tied. Yeah, what are we voting on? I think I, I do, do I kill him, yes or no? Do I kill the peppermint? Yeah, exactly. Wow. This is, oh, okay, well does he kill peppermint? Yeah. You're pro killing him halfway. I can do, if it's no, I'll kill him halfway. Look. Hey, I I can see. I can see what you're voting oh, on. Oh shit, you're right. No, I'm sorry. There's no choice here. I don't know what show you think you're on, but this isn't everything now. There's no choice. Sorry, no polls. Yeah. Ugh. All right. No, sorry. A lot of people don't want their the people that they love to die, but that's just how it is. I guess. Now, please do me up, sir. And what? even if I say something that's like, please don't kill me, oh god, please, I don't want to die. Just do it, okay? You're like a demon. Like, you I might talk you out of it, but you gotta resist, and you gotta kill me. You might come back, though, I'm more, I'm wondering. Like, is that... I don't know what's gonna happen. I've never tried it. Okay. Alright. Let's do this. One, two, three. Oh god, please, sir, Final, we're best friends. Please, please. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Did you say we're best friends? What do you mean? I don't know. You're sorry, you gotta go through with it. You can't do this. You right, sorry, kill sorry, me, no sorry, what sorry, I sorry, say. sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay, one, two, three. <laughs> what the hell? Uh, uh, I I've always considered you the greatest friend I've ever had. What? I keep a picture of you next to my bed, and I'm like, oh, if only you loved me as much as I love you. 
Kim! Wait, is that, is that real? Aristotle, what are you doing? I don't know! I you gotta kill me, man! I, I didn't realize you liked me that much. Oh, dude, come on! It's just something that I'm gonna say Okay, I'm dying. Right, sorry, I, you to I stop? get distracted. But seriously, like, even if after you kill me, I'll still consider you my best friend, and I hope that you you say something nice at my funeral or something, because I love you, Aristotle. I love you so much, but I'm, I'm ignoring it. I'm ignoring it. I'm not trying to talk to you. I'm not trying to kiss you. Gonna become a ghost. Very funny. I'm so sorry. Oh, God, Pepper Man. Oh. oh, Jesus! He shit himself. God damn it! That means he's real. I I killed the Pepper Man. It's over. I gotta take his body out of the carriage. He's gonna shove him off the carriage. Okay, yeah. Oh, God. <clears throat> oh. Yeah, throw some R.I. Peppers in the chat. I'm sorry, Pepper Man. Ugh. Horses stop. We're supposed to get married. Yeah, the horses are. that Latin spell again. That's what I get for putting that as a donation goal. God. That didn't feel good at all. Try I tried murder. I, I'm not I'm not a fan. I'm not a fan. And and, and weirdly I miss the guy. I mi I don't know. It's like when you It was just a big part of my life for the past year, you know? All like for for all the fucked up things about it. What 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 would another 15 do? Summon his corpse, I guess? I don't know. I don't want to find out. I'm... <sighs> Dr. Teacher, should I... Should I keep going? <sighs> hey! Oh, hey! Hey, what's going on? Um... How was the ride? You know the Pepper Man? Oh, uh, don't, don't say his name. I know, I'm sorry. If you um, say his name, don't Well, but yes, I, uh, I, I know the P man. Why, did he, I, did he show up? He did. Oh, gosh, are you, are you, are you okay? Not really. Um, he made me try murder. Oh, uh, you didn't do it, right? Because if you... What do I... What do I, 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 what do you mean, I, what do I, I didn't do it? Well, I, what do you mean I didn't do it? You didn't, you didn't murder anyone, did you, Aristotle? He's the pepper man, I thought he would be like, uh, I, like, come back or something, I don't know. Oh, He's a gosh. demon. Um, uh, I have to, I have to go check some paperwork wait. with everything now, corporate. Hold on, just one sec. Hold on, this is fine, or no, this is, wait, where'd you go, Dr. Teacher? Okay. 
right? It's fine. Well, um, we have to end the stream. What? Yeah, we have to end the stream. Well, am I seriously in trouble? Uh, you know, it's we can't. I don't want to talk too much about it right now, but we did do a murder uh, on the stream, and so we do have to just uh, end the stream. And uh, this was a spooky time. We had a very spooky time. Uh, uh, no, you, you can't let me go down for, down for this, man. He's a demon. He told me to, he told me to kill him. Aristotle, I think it would be best for you to just not talk anymore because anything else you say at this point could potentially be incriminating and used against you in a court of law. Um, but we had a great time. Thanks, everybody, for joining us tonight. We had a really fun time uh, with Aristotle and his spooky lip. Uh, of course, this is everything now, the show that happens twice a week, every Sunday and Wednesday, Sunday and Wednesday at 8 p.m. So don't forget to join us uh, next Sunday if there is still a show. If we haven't been shut down for the apparent murder of the peppermint. Wait, you, 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 chat, cover your ears. You can't let me go down. You can't let me. You can't let me go down like this. You knew, you knew what would happen if he was a donation goal. Hey, uh, you knew he was capable I of. Didn't think. I thought that if we put it in Latin, nobody would know what it. Oh, means. bullshit! Donate. Bullshit! Anyway, we just need to find somebody who we can raid, so let's go ahead if anybody has any suggestions oh in the chat of somebody who we should raid, otherwise we're gonna take a look and see here. This is my nightmare. This is my this, so, this is my nightmare. Don't worry, Aristotle, I'm sure it's all gonna work out fine, and if it doesn't, um You're not gonna say anything, are you? Me? You're not gonna say anything, are well, you? Well I mean if if I am under oath I would have to say something, but um, hopefully it doesn't come to that. No, you can't kill me, Aristotle. Aristotle, please, you know you can't kill me. You know that I, <sighs> I can't kill uh, Raid Aiden Wood. Oh, that sounds like a good idea. Let's go ahead and raid Aiden Wood. Thank you. Chat, chat. Clip that. Clip, clip, clip everything. Clip this whole episode. I'm innocent. I'm innocent. I have a tattoo shop. I'm innocent.